Meanwhile, as uh, Thornton was uh, being given those uh, specific detailed instructions for an upcoming run of the surface tension experiment at uh, NASA Lewis Research Center uh, facility, um, Al Sacco is, uh, as we can see, continuing at his uh, duties, which uh, at this point are to uh, continue with protein crystal growth work, uh, initializing uh, samples of uh, protein s substances, uh, getting the uh, various solutions uh, mixed together at just the right combination of uh, quantities. And now we can take a look at uh, a uh, split image here to see that uh, at the moment uh, we do have multiple images of video coming to the ground and uh, 2.5 lines up a millimeter crossed in slot 10. How does that look? Beautiful, Kathy. Very stable. And again, in this uh, split screen view uh, or quad uh, image, uh, we're seeing uh, four of the images that are coming to the ground simultaneously by means of the HiPAC digital TV system uh, that's uh, debuting on this STS-73 flight. The uh, digital video allowing uh, uh, multiplexing uh, several images simultaneously rather than uh, our previous mode of operation, which was uh, only capable of bringing one image, TV image, to the ground at any given time. This is Space Lab Operations Control Huntsville, and our live uh, downlink video from Columbia uh, showing us the uh, Space Lab module looking towards the aft, where uh, Payload Commander Kathy Thornton and Payload Specialist Al Sacco have been getting things ready to uh, go into a uh, sample exchange procedure at the Crystal Growth Furnace. Uh, that'll be, uh, again, a fairly lengthy uh, operation with uh, both crew members involved. It was preceded uh, a few minutes ago by a uh, preliminary step in which uh, Al Sacco uh, uh, did a... Uh, Pulling, uh, pulled a pin uh, out of one of the uh, sample mechanisms so that uh, when they do the sample exchange, uh, the sample that they'll be inserting uh, into one uh, chamber, into one holder, rather, one position of the crystal growth furnace carousel assembly, uh, that sample will uh, fit in there. There's a unique keying system to these samples. Space Lab Huntsville, CGF uh, says it's okay if that sack is in your way to remove that.
Go ahead, Kathy. Hi there. I took tape number four out of VCR four and I put tape number forty three in VCR four. Roger, Kathy, we copy tape four out of VCR four and tape forty three in VCR four. Some uh, video of the uh, surface tension driven con convection experiment test chamber as uh, Kathy Thornton is uh, getting it uh, filled up to the proper level for another test run uh, with the uh, in this case, uh, one of the uh, test cells that has a submerged heater element, which we see there in the center screen. Space Lab Huntsville for Rommel. Uh, we're ready for that astroculture video playback whenever you are. coming down of the uh, potato plants, the potato tubers uh, that are uh, being grown in the astroculture facility on board uh, in the uh, mid-deck of Columbia. Pilot Kent Rominger uh, obtained this video uh, a little earlier uh, and uh, now has the opportunity to replay it and we take it to the ground uh, by downlink video. And as we look down on the uh, ocean below Columbia, we see uh, pronounced thick cloudiness covering uh, the broad ocean area of the Pacific. Columbia currently about 39 degrees uh, north latitude, the uh, northernmost point of this orbit. And uh, that uh, orbital inclination putting it uh, at an equivalent uh, uh, point north uh, about equivalent to um, the uh, mid portion of California or the states of uh, Utah, Nebraska, and uh, northern Illinois. This is an uh, infrared diagnostic uh, tool for uh, seeing the thermal mapping of the surface of the test cell of oil.